Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Makak, Dash, the bonds of the apostles, others, the great millstone, citation of brothers, pushing his word in truth and sincerity and charity, and risking their lives of freedom to do so. This is Brother Yana Gaia coming from Great Millstone, Chicago Camp, coming at you with another lesson, Lawrence Edifying. Uh, uh. <laughs> um, basically, man, as they say, uh, for, uh, uh, humility comes before pride. It's like, yeah, almost had a brain fart. It's like, yeah, humility comes before pride. Uh, I meant to say, Humility comes before honor. All right. And um, when you come into this thing, you know, you are <clears throat> not to seek, you know, uh, the elder seat, as the scripture talks about. Uh, Lord, I get that one. But uh, just remain humble, stay in your lot. And um, <laughs> everything else will uh, fall into place, man. All right? This is not your show. This is not my show. This is not the next man's show. All right? This is the Lord's show. All right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, Makak All right? So, humble down, man. All right, there's no room for pride in this thing. All right, <clears throat> but with that being said, let me get a uh, matter of fact. Yeah, let me get Matthews. Chapter eighteen. I just started one. It says, At the same time came the disciple the disciples unto Yahweh Shai, saying, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? And Yahweh Shai called a little child unto him, and set him in the midst of them, and said, Verily I say unto you, except ye be converted and become as little children, ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Alright? <laughs> to the little child uh, you're a little bit more humble alright <laughs> not so much, you don't have so much pride and arrogance alright but um my friend let me keep reading it says whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child, the same as greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whosoever shall receive one such as little little child in my name receives me. Alright? So, you really have to humble yourself as a child. Hey, uh, 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 babes into this thing, man. Alright? We are babes in this thing. When you come into the truth, all that, it, don't, it, it doesn't matter. All right? It doesn't matter all the bullshit you think you know. All right? Because when you come into this thing, you really have to start over. All right? You humble yourself down. It takes a lot for a grown man to humble himself down to another man, especially if that other man is older than you in the spirit, but yet younger than you in age, you know? And it takes a lot. You don't take order, get rebuked, you know? All these things, uh, in order to... Uh, to fall in line, man. You need to humble yourself down. All right? 
This is not my show. This is not his show. This is not the next man's show. This is the Lord's show. Alright, and one monkey is not going to stop the show. Alright? And, and we've seen it before. You know? We've seen it before. People are always trying to make everyone equal. When Scripture talks about otherwise, man. This is Sirach chapter thirty two, verse nine. This is the Eight. It says, let thy speech be short, comprehending much and few words, but as one that knoweth and yet holdeth his tongue. If thou be among great men, make not yourself, make not thyself equal with them. And when ancient men are in place, use not many words. All right. So make, make yourself not equal with great men. All right. Me personally, I believe that all these men I stand next to are great men. You know, I and I will not. I'll, I'll dare to compare myself next to the <laughs> next to the next brother, man. You know, hell no. You know, thinking that my sit downs or my opinion or just my ways is more important more superior than the next brother. And that's not the case. And yet we do have brothers in ranking, man. You know, from apostles on down. All right? Out here in GMS Chicago, we got a, a ranking order, man. All right? And it's all the full order. And sometimes they, you see a brother get promoted, you know, thinking that you're supposed to be in that, that position. Ain't nothing wrong having that, that godly jealousy and, and that, that, that righteous, you know, uh, jealousy to want to wanna be uh, uh, basically noticed in the spirit, I guess, or basically have the same, you know, but or Salaki or you might see a brother that you don't think that should be promoted and to get promoted uh, uh, and now you had to take order f from him alright and, and you had to uh, humble yourself down and go ahead because hey, the Lord man the Lord works in mysterious ways you don't know why, why and who is set up in these positions. All right. Everything. Hey, first Corinthians fourteen and forty. The Lord hey, let all things be done decently and in order. All right. Everyone equal and all that is not order. And scripture talks about make yourself not equal uh, amongst great men. But yeah, brother, the nigga talking about equality. There's order to this thing, man. All right. Lord ain't dealing with that chaos, man. Hey, hey Scripture talks about not interrupting a man in his speech. That's order. You know, yeah, we're all equal. And now everyone's going to have the right to say everything what they feel when they want to. Now let the other man speak and interrupt one another. That's out of order, man. Everything is set up the way it is because the Lord has it set up. It's the Lord's show, man. And he <laughs> is, 
It's perfect. All right. Jake just seriously needs to humble down, man. All right. This is a uh, Proverbs chapter 29, verse 23. It says, A man's pride shall bring him low, but honor shall uphold the humble in spirit. All right. So there's nothing good that comes with pride. All right. Jake out here uh, <laughs> talking out the ass, man. Yeah, men. Yeah, men. Has been in in this walk of faith for twice, twice the uh, 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 three, four times the amount that these younger cats are coming in with. Yeah, they humble down and <clears throat> come on, man. They don't even act like this, man. All right, Jake out here bugged out. This is a uh, loop. This is Luke 14 and 8. It says, When thou art bidden of any man to a wedding, sit not down in the highest room, lest a more honorable man than thou be hidden, that, that thou be bidden of him. And he that bade thee and him come and say to thee, Give this man place, and thou begin to shame, and thou begin with shame. To take the lowest room. But when thou art bidden, go and sit down in the lowest room, that when he that bade thee came bade thee cometh, he may say to thee, Friend, go up higher. Then shalt thou have a worship in the presence of them that sit at meat with thee. For whosoever exalted himself shall be abased, and he that humbled himself shall be exalted. All right, hey, the Lord will exalt you, man. All right, don't seek the seats of of, of the elders, man. <laughs> that was perfect, Slack, yeah. Yeah. You know, Jake over here wanting the highest seat in the room, wanting to be noticed and wanting these things and but yeah. All that shit like it's not gonna work out, man. You'll be brought low. Your pride is is what's gonna ruin you. Basically, he's not seeking the elder seat, you know, not wanting that that position. You know, Jay coming into a spot where they forget about their sit-downs really supposed to edify the flock. Now they're just doing sit-downs so they can be seen by men and show what they know. It's not about that, man. So remain humble. You know, this is not mine, his, your show, this is the Lord's show. So, I'm going to end it off with that. Until next time, call Halal, La Yahoo, Bashim, Yahoo, Shai. Lord's edifying lesson.
to the warm and above all.